Hello. Hey, Tistro. Hey, Scoops. What's up, Vaughn? Hey, Black Hebrew. What's going on? I realize y'all can't really see me. It's Scorpio season. It's Scorpio season, which is my birth month. And, uh, yeah, so to pop off a Scorpio season, you know, people give Scorpios a really bad rap, I think. They give us a hard time for being Scorpios. We are misunderstood. Misunderstood. What's up, Craig? Scorpio season in effect, for sure. What's going on? Let me uh, get a little more light. But yeah, we're misunderstood. So, you know, I'm like, you know what? It's Scorpio season. People want to say stuff about Scorpios and things. You donate. What? Craig, I haven't even had a chance to get in here yet. Hey, King Windsor, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, let me pull up my YouTube app so I can see what's happening. I'm going to turn the light on in a second. Uh, thank you so much, Craig. That is very sweet of you to, um, to donate. Thank you so much. Aw, thank you. Aw, Craig. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me turn this light on so you guys can see me. Boom. Let's see, it's just so, so, um, it's so bright. Damn it. It's too bright. One second. One second. Sorry to hear that, King Windsor. You know I don't get involved in any of that stuff, though, you know. I don't get involved in any of that. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that happen to you, though. Hold on. I'm trying to get my stuff together here. I'm supposed to be red, but I'm looking pink. I'm looking pink. And there's no blue tonight. There's no blue. <laughs> Damn you, Pumas. Yes. Yes, Scorpios, we get misunderstood. So, wait, let me put my, boom, there. You know, we get misunderstood. I'm supposed to be red. It's coming across pink on this thing. Hold on, let me get this right. I'm supposed to be red from head to toe. I look hot pink. I don't like it. I don't like that I look hot pink, so I have to try and fix this. I gotta try and fix this. One moment. One moment. All right, let's see. What's up, Justin? <laughs> What's going on, Justin D? Justin D. Hold on. One moment, please. I'm trying to get my lighting right. I don't want it to be so bright, you know what I'm saying? So give me a second. The struggle. There's always a struggle with me. All right. I think that'll be a little better. Yeah, now I look red. Now I look red and not there. Oh, and I have my tail. This is my tail. My tail. My demon tail. This is an extent. This is kind of like what I did before, but this time the hair is black. The hair is black this time. It's kind of a purgatory thing. I was thinking I was going to do like a purgatory, but then I ran out of time. I didn't have time for all that. So you get, you get this kind of, kind of purgatory situation. Yeah. So, uh, it's like too much black though. It's too much black. You can't even, you can't even see what's going, what's happening. It's too much black, but I'll tell you a, a trade secret. This is my old Diana Ross hair. This is Diana Ross hair right here. <laughs> Her guitar my face. So yeah, so it's Scorpio season. It's Scorpio, Scorpio season. You're welcome, Black Hebrew. 
Scorpio season, so we're starting it off with a bang. Starting it off with a bang. Uh, you know, people try and people try and give Scorpios a hard time. You know, they're like, oh, Scorpios, like, you know, you guys are evil. You guys are, you know, you guys are like the devil or whatever. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just rolling with it. I'm rolling with it for today. I'm rolling with it for today. Got some new contacts. <laughs> Pointy sister. Got some new contacts. I don't know if you can see them. They are red. They are red. For the devil. Yeah. So. So, uh, I have red paint everywhere. It's like, uh, I should have done better with my hands, but I need black nail polish. That didn't happen. So this is what you guys get. This is what you guys get today. What's up, Austin? What's going on? What's going on? But yeah, like so, you know, so I'm repping for the Scorpios. It begins Scorpio season. If you guys know any Scorpios, um, you're very lucky to know some Scorpios. That's all I'm going to say. You may not always realize how wonderful it is having a Scorpio in your life, but ultimately... It's all good things. It's all. It's mostly good things. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that, Scoops. I think I'm gonna do that since I since I have all these costumes at this point. Uh, <laughs> Justin. Okay, Craig. Uh, yes, I am literally a devil today. Uh, since I have all these since I have all these costumes, <clears throat> I think I will do that. I think I will do that. My nose is running. I have red paint and my nose is running that's not a good thing but um hey b lamb what's going on don't be scared why are you looking all worried and scared you're looking all worried and scared uh oh my nose is running though hold on one second i'll be right back i'll be back i'll be back i don't know my tail all right Okay, your percentage is 12%. No, no, Scoops. Scoops, I know you're working towards something. Don't let me be a, a uh, distraction. Will there be a dark Lola calendar as well? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like I haven't done calendar. I was I was talking about this a little bit um, last week, you know, because people will ask me for stuff. But then I don't know. Maybe I'll do like pre-sales or something. Like if I do pre-sales, then that'll give me more incentive to do it. But otherwise, I don't want to like waste money on something that people don't really want. Hot fire melting smooth. Oh, you're definitely not scared. Good. Hey, Bistro, what's going on? No, I have not played Soul Calibur. I have not celebrated. Not, not, not played Soul Calibur. Soul, Soul Calibur Six. It's hard to talk with these things in. Hey, Chiron, Chiron, Chiron. My favorite month is now. I love Halloween. I love October. Well, it's between. It's like the lead up into my birthday month, which is November. So it's it's all of the excitement about Halloween and all of the costumes and all of the spookiness and the weirdness of Halloween. And then that leads into my birthday. So, you know, so it's all of that. Hey, Hellcat. I have not seen any of the new Daredevil yet. I have not seen any of it yet, so I have no opinion because I have not watched one episode just yet. 
Um, I like Daredevil, I love. So that's my favorite one of all the Netflix Marvel series. So, um, so I know I'll love it. I know I'll love it. But I haven't, I haven't watched any of it yet. Um, Iron Fist got canceled. And Luke Cage got canceled. And I'm not mad at either one of those decisions by Marvel and Netflix. Um, hey, Two Star, what's up? Roar. Roar. I am weird. I am absolutely weird, Adam. Absolutely. Yeah, no more coffee. No more coffee. Um, Scoops was made a post, and I was thinking this too. I don't think it's the last we'll see of Luke Cage or Iron Fist in the Marvel um, television, you know, series or whatever. I do think it's highly possible that they may do a Heroes for Hire situation, which I think that would be better probably for both of those characters because it was a struggle for both of those um, series. It was a struggle to me. I had a hard time watching them both. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Luke Cage season two is not as good as not as good though. No, and neither one neither one of those seasons. I, I didn't I didn't care for Luke Cage. I'm just gonna say it. I've said it before. I didn't care for uh, Luke Cage. All right, Craig, BRB. I thought you already said BRB, and then you came back. You can't even dare this devil. Oh, sure you can. Sure you could. Ah, oh, congratulations, Bearded B. Congratulations. You will be driving again in no time. That's awesome. So congratulations to you. Um, you're kind of excited about it. I think it came out already, didn't it? Or it's about to come out? I thought it came out already. And this I don't know about I don't know about this I don't know about this hair, y'all. I don't know about this hair. It's a it's a lot. This hair is a lot going on right now. Um, uh, but yeah, so I was going to do like a purgatory thing, but I don't have the right like costume for purgatory. purgatory. Uh, oh, thank you, Adam. Thank you. You know, I am I'm trying. I don't have any blue on. It's weird. I don't. Even, my toes aren't even painted blue. You just found out about it today. Did you see the other um, two seasons, Black Hebrew? Hey, D. Cole, what's going on? Mr. B, what's up? What's going on, Mr. B? What's up? Michael! I don't even have blue kisses to give you today, so you'll get some dark, mwah, black, devilish, dark Lola kisses today. Hey, Lonnie, what's going on? What's up? I'm continuing to celebrate Halloween it is still not Halloween yet. I'm working hard on something for a proper Halloween celebration. Um, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I know my hair isn't blue today, and it's freaking me out a little bit. Like I keep looking at it on the on the monitor, and I'm like, it's freaking me out a little bit. Um, oh, you did? Well, there you go. So now there, B had some ice cream in a blue bowl, and I don't even have blue. Tonight, there's no blue anywhere. Not even on my nails. Not even on my nails. Oh, thank you, Prime. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, how long did it take to put on? I don't know. It took me maybe like about an hour, I guess. About an hour. Um, I'm not fully painted. These are, these are tights. These are tights. I have on a, run, a Wonder Woman shirt. That's why it's a little bulky in here because I have a Wonder Woman shirt turned inside out. <laughs> a red Wonder Woman shirt turned inside out under here because this isn't paint either. This is just, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing for Halloween yet, Adam. I'm not giving that information out. Uh, oh, I make evil look so pure and good and sexy. Mm, thank you. You know, I'm just rocking pure evil tonight, I guess. Uh, you eat off blue plates every day. See, there you go. Oh, your granddad only has blue plates. Well, it counts. It counts. <laughs> hey, Billiards Fun, what's going on? Do I want... Hello, Werther's Originals. You're so delicious. Should let me get a bite. Hey, 
Hey, Dean. Blue, blue, blue candy. I'll take blue candy. What's up? I scared you, Kyler. Why did I scare you? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's all in good fun. Hey, Game Freak. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good to see you, Dean. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen you in a bit. Hey, Glock. I saw you come in. What's going on? I tried to show your um, comment. YouTube blocked you. <laughs> Uh, but I got you back. Oh, what's up? Are DZ up in here? What's going on? Hola, hola, hola. What's up? I haven't seen you in a minute. I always feel like somebody's watching me. I should have, like, ironed these. Put some heat on these. On my wings. I need to put some... Hey, Mike. Ren. What's up? I should have put some... Some heat on these uh, wings so that they would be a little more right you know what I mean wait come on oh that's the wrong side hello savage den there's a slight intimidation factor why don't be intimidated don't be intimidated Hello, Jamar. I am scary. You should be very afraid. There we go. There they go. Oh, you're dead. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to hear that, Dean. I, I hope that I hope he's doing okay or I hope he's feeling better. I'm not sure what that situation is, but um, and I look ridiculous saying this, but just much love to you and, and your dad. I hope he is doing okay. Hit the thriller dance. I can't do the thriller dance. I could. I could do part of it. But the problem is when I stand up, my head is gone. You lose my head when I stand up. So, yeah. I should have put the heat gun on these gloves, though. I mean, on these um, wings. They look a little wrinkled. They've been in the top of my my closet here for a while. Um, CPS was watching him. Let's see the dance. I don't really, I don't, I'm not very good at the dance. I used to be. I used to be, but now not so much. I'm drinking water. That's, I'm boring right now, but that's where we are, drinking water. Scoops, I'm like a personification of the little uh, demon, the little devil sitting on your shoulder. Like the angel on this side is your exam. The uh, devil on this side is me. Mm. Wings aren't the extremities you want to see me spread. <laughs> Reg! Mm. Oh my god! I'm sorry to hear that, Dean. I'm very sorry to hear that. I, I hope it's... I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Hey, Tay. You need water. If I drink out of a wine glass, preferably red wine. No, this is, this is my bloody glass. This is my bloody glass. This is the perfect thing to drink out of. This is the perfect thing. You're a villain. I'm a villain. Hello, Dark Slayer. With a name like Dark Slayer, you can't, you can't be scared. You can't be scared. If you're Dark Slayer, you can't be scared. SOCOM. What's up, SOCOM? Where you been? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I missed a comment. Uh, RDZ, do the running man. Is that what they did back in the day? Your parents. <laughs> oh, my God. Congratulations, B. Congratulations. That's that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Congratulations to you. That's That's huge. That's huge. Midnight Texas season two. I have heard of it, but I haven't seen any of it. Haven't seen any of it. A gargoyle? I don't have a gargoyle. Am I a gargoyle? I don't have a gargoyle. I used to have one. I don't have one anymore. I gave it away. I gave away my gargoyle. I don't have one. But no, I'm not a gargoyle. 
I'm not a gargle. Let me see if I can give y'all some thriller dance. Let me um, get my tail here. Uh, oh, right, hold on. Hold on. I don't think you're going to get a thriller dance. I need to get like a red leotard. So this isn't all bunched up. This is my shirt. Red wine may gently age your teeth. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. What do you mean, what's wrong? Only Zool. But if I was going to do the thriller dance, I should have done it when I was a zombie. That That's a zombie situation, not this. It's zombie and werewolf. This is neither zombie nor werewolf. So, put some safety boots on. <laughs> no, dancing is what I can do. It's walking I can't do. Walking I can do. Hello, Lucky Charm. This would be the best lotus pose, would it? Would it? I don't know that it would. I don't know what it would. And that it would. Uh, you love red and black. You're welcome. You're welcome, uh, B. You're welcome, B Lamb. No, if if I was gonna do the thriller dance, it should have been a zombie or the werewolf. There were no there were no doubles in in thriller. So, meditating demon. No, that's not happening, Lucky Charm. Not happening this evening. Not happening. Is this too, is, are we, is this too dark in here? Is this fine? I'm trying to have like some mood lighting. I should have red light. I don't have, I don't have red light. I'm trying to think of what I have that I could, I don't have anything. I have nothing. How do I make the wings pop up? Well, they, they, um, I painted these wings, but there are these two, I'll show you. It's a backpack. Hey, chaos. I'm red. I'm red. I had a black light. I don't know where it is. I had a black light bulb and I can't find it. So that's not going to work. Oh, candles. Wait, I have a spooky candle thing I bought today. Hold on. Let me find it. I'm good, Jamar. How are you? Let me show you how. Uh oh. My tail. Okay. It's like this. Yes, I'm definitely looking in my um, wax. <laughs> Justin. All right, here we go. So it's like this. See these? These rings. Sorry, my I I I cheated on the hands. Um, these rings, and you just pull down, like you pull down on the on the. I'm not gonna hurt my tail. My tail is all right. So you pull down on this, like this, like that, and it goes up. That's how that goes. That's how that works. So, yeah. That's what it is. I knocked over my Stan Lee. I have to be careful with these wings. I got to be careful with this. No, my wing isn't broken. My, 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 my wing is fine. I just was knocking stuff off of my shelf with these wings. What the... What the what? What the F-bomb? Okay. Um, I was getting up for something. I, I can't remember what it was. Gremlin ears. These do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. These do remind you of the gremlin ears. Thank you. Thank you. And I haven't been able to see any other ones like this. Um, I got these years ago and painted them. I broke them. I fixed them. Oh, the candle. Thank you, Justin. That's what I was going to go get. I'll be right back.
It's not like a real candle. It's not, it's not bondage wires. What in the world? I, I walk out of the room for one second and look at like what y'all are getting into. Look at what y'all are getting into. Oh my God. What are y'all talking about right now? What in the world? What are y'all getting into? Y'all are a hot damn mess. Y'all are a hot damn mess. Pitchfork. I don't have a pitchfork. I do have a sword. I have a sword. Hey, Jules. I don't have a pitchfork. It's not, I'm not that kind of devil. I'm a succubus. So hold on. I think my sword. This is my sword for when you guys I get out of line. You know what I mean? This is my sword. I don't carry a pitchfork. I carry I carry this. I carry this. So, you know, when you if you don't act right. No pitchfork. Only a sword. Only a sword. Red Bull needs a new commercial. Halloween edition. My bitch is off. <laughs> this sword is brutal. You don't want to be on the receiving end of this sword. You don't want to be on the receiving end of this sword. Soul Caliber 6. Then create a character. I'll have to check it out. I don't know. Um, who said I look cute with my costume? What is that? Oh, thank you, Jules. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dominatrix? Who said anything about a dominatrix? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh, here goes Reg. Here goes Reg with, I forgot. I forgot Reg until this moment. I forgot that you're the, you, you always low key troll me. <laughs> Red devils aren't succubacy. Yes, they are. First off, one of the most famous ones of them. Yes, they are. You should do your research and you don't get, you don't, succubus don't have pitchforks. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's why you get the end of my blade, Reg. <laughs> Cute and scary at the same time. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, so calm, a little bit, not much. Reg, our Russian judge. Oh, and yeah, but this is my favorite, guys. If you can't tell, like, you know, Halloween is my favorite time of the year. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll do more, start doing more like cosplay stuff throughout the year. I just have a reason to do it now. You know what I mean? But I mean, but what is the gameplay like, though, Black Hebrew? I mean, that's nice and everything, but. Like, I like customization on games, but I need to have actual, you know, gameplay style that I like. And I really don't know anything about Soul Calibur. Um, has your end come sooner? I don't know. Hey, Gray. What's going on? Inyaki! Hola! Hola, como estas? It's late. It's late for you, Inyaki. You never felt Soul Calibur. Mixed a mommy. What is going on? What's up, girl? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good to see you. Good to see you. I mean, it's almost time for Halloween. Halloween is in a week. In a week. A little over a week. Halloween. Ah. <sighs> I love this time of year. 
You're eating cereal. Story is meh for Soul Calibur. See? Right, he didn't say anything at all about the score, uh, the story, about the gameplay. He didn't say anything. He was just saying that it's, you know, you can customize a character. Which you can customize characters in a lot of games. There are plenty of games that I don't have, you know. Ben, you're fine. I'm good, too. I'm good, too. Feeding game like, a fighting game like Street Fighter. But with swords and boobs physics. Okay, got you. Hey, Kevin. What's going on? Tekken made Soul Calibur. Oh, okay. No, it's not that I, it's not that I hate Tekken. I like Tekken. Like, I grew up, you know, playing Tekken. I'm just not really into fight games so much. That's, that's the thing. I'm not really into fight games so much, so. Hey, James. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? How are you? You had to restart your phone. Hey, Trey. Welcome. 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 Neither see you, though. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Thank you, Be Lamb. I like them too. They're stuck to my stuck to. This is gonna be a pain, like washing this stuff off. Uh, oh, you moved. Okay, well, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I haven't been um, streaming on uh, PlayStation so much because the playroom was messed up. I do prefer my uh, streaming straight to my computer. I mean, straight from my computer to YouTube and and Twitch, but. We'll see. I'm 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 on. I came back for a little bit at least. This game makes Tekken look stupid. Really? I should do a witch cosplay. Man, I haven't done a witch in a long time. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I don't know. I mean, but Halloween is almost here, so I'm about to be. You know, I know the last costumes I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing Thursday. Oh no, I know what I'm doing Thursday. That's what they throw through. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Awesome sauce, breezy. What's going on? I look like I took a bath in tomato juice. I'll take that. That's vitamin C. That's good for you. That's good for you. Casually smoking weed. <laughs> hey, fashionista. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, all the same. Oh my gosh. This is fun. I always like being like something spooky or scary and I like painting, painting my skin. That's always nice. Uh, have any of you guys, speaking of like kind of spooky stuff, uh, didn't I act in Ghosts and Goblins? No. I know. Three days until Red Dead Redemption 2. Three days until Red Dead Redemption 2. I was going to show you guys something, but I'm, I want to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I got something. I got sent something that I love, but I'm going to wait because I want to post a picture <laughs> with it. Thank you, Awesome Sauce. You think a witch would suit your personality? I don't know how to take that, Jamar. I don't know how to take that. Wait. People that are not ready for the future hate this game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I showed you enough. What is wrong with my comments? Why are they all jumbled up? Oh, so this Friday is the Halloween movie. There, it came out here um, this past Friday. I tried to see it, but um, wait, you want to see? Wait, what? Um, I want to see Goblin or Orc Lola, but she got to hit the gym though. I told you, Reg stays low key trolling me. Uh, <laughs> you would they like it? I don't know. Your kids are kind of young though. I would scare them. I would scare them, but they're so cute. You drove to 7-Eleven. Oh, I got my tickets. I got my tickets. I earned it. Oh, thank you, Justin. You're very sweet. 
They're very sweet. I can't wait to show everybody. I'm not going to show them now, though, because I don't want to get red stuff on it. It was an okay movie. I, I, I do want to see it. I will I will go and check it out. Um, but I just, I'm just not sure when. Um, this... I, I'm, I don't even know. I'm not even going to really get to play Red Dead Redemption. I'm going to play it some on Friday. Uh, still like someone not to mess with. That's true. That is true. Whether I'm in red or not. That's my Scorpio nature. Like, you don't really want to mess with me. I'm nice. But, you know, until. Um, sound bar or astro headset. Man. Oh yeah, scoops. Oh yeah, scoops did earn a day off for sure. Singing gamer, how are you? It's good to see you. Not enough gore for you. Oh okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna go see the movie. I just I just haven't had a chance to. Um, so Friday the game comes out like Thursday at midnight. So I'll have all Thursday. I'll have a good portion of the day on Friday to play it. Um. Then I have some. I have work Friday and Saturday I'm out of town for work so I my weekend I, I won't be able to play it until in earnest until Tuesday which is kind of crazy that's kind of crazy kind of crazy so yeah I'm teasing you Reg I'm teasing you I don't want to be an orc I don't want to be an orc I don't think anybody's trying to kill Soul Calibur 6, Black Hebrew. I think that people, I don't know, at least the people in here, I don't know anything about it at all. So I have no zero opinion on it. I just know I'm not really into fight games like that. Um, but we're all about Red Dead Redemption 2. I know that. Ah, see you later, two stars. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you see a review on I will. I'll check it out, Black Hebrew. I will look at it. I just know that right now the game that um hey Dre um the game right now that I'm gonna be playing for the foreseeable future is Red Dead Redemption 2 and it's already downloaded to my machine and I'm just waiting for them to unlock it so I can play it and um but I won't really be able to do anything with it it fully until um Tuesday which sucks Tuesday <laughs> sick day yeah I can't I can't do that if I don't go to work I don't get paid so come with you to the light side there's plenty of time to go back to the light side I like being on the dark side right now though I, I think the multiplayer will be good I had fun in the last multiplayer so if it's at least as fun as that then I'll, I'll be happy but you know we don't get that right away the multiplayer doesn't come out until, um, like, November. Hey, Cortez. Yes, I do have Black Ops 4, Jamar. I do. I do, I do, I do. Do you feel like calling out tomorrow and going to Sheep's Head Bay? Why do you want to go to, why do you want to come to Sheep's Head Bay? You trying to come to Brooklyn? You heard black on there? What do you mean, that they're black people? I think so. Hello, governor. Hello, gov. Um, you want to go to the beach? It's cold AF. This is not beach weather. This is not beach weather at all. At all. It's not beach weather. I owe so many people games right now, Jamar. It's not even funny. And I haven't even played myself, but I'm down that. I'm down for it. Hey, Dino. What's up? Sexy AF. <laughs> hey, Ninja Scroll. Am I going to see Overload? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. So I guess not as of yet. Because I'm not what it, I'm not sure. Not in Florida. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You don't want to go to Sheep's Head Bay. Hey, you not ready. Hey, Greedy Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Watch the Overlord. Watch the Overlord trailer now. I think I have seen it actually. Now that I think about it, I have not seen Venom either. I'm telling you guys, 
I have not had I have not had time. I've not had time. Um have not seen Venom. Have not seen Venom at all. I tried to go see Halloween the other night and it was sold out. I didn't get tickets in advance. Um What's going on? You not ready? How are you? Happy Halloween to everyone. Happy almost Halloween. Let's go together. <laughs> I have not. No, I have not seen it yet. I have not seen Venom yet. I haven't. Have not. Hey, Tavares. What's going on? Serial killed your high. Venom is funny. I will see it at some point. I will at some point. I'm freaky. <laughs> I'll take that. Looking real horny. Hello, uh, Paco Lips. What's up? It's lit. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Venom can wait. Yeah. That's why I was going to go see Halloween first, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> hey game what's going on what's going on let me show you guys uh it was okay yeah I've, I've heard kind of you know to me it's weird it's a it's a spy it's a spider-man villain and there's no spider-man in it that's a little weird to me so uh you know i don't know it's a little strange but whatever she read i'm dead mr <laughs> redemption oh my god that's crazy <clears throat> thank you Paco lips you're waiting for maximum carnage I just need them to put spider-man in it why not put spider-man in it hold on let me this thing is all tight I wore these wings one year. Um, I wore these wings out, you know, around, like, going to different bars and clubs and stuff. I was tearing people up with these wings. Like, it's so unlike me. Hmm. Who said that? Oh, Tavares. Well, hey, Briel. Um, I have done... A succubus before. I did a succubus before. Yes, this is unlike me. Uh, but not really. Part of it is my true nature. Part of it is my true nature. You guys just don't always see. That's all. That's all. Can't tell all my secrets, you know. I got a wedgie. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, I'm in the playroom. I'm in the playroom today. I'm in the playroom. It seems like it's working better these days. I don't know what they did. I guess they put it back to what it was before. I don't know. It seems like it's working better. Ah, uh, okay. All right, Scoops. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck with your with your exam and all that stuff. <laughs> I have many sides to theirs. I have many sides. But um, you all must always remember I'm a Scorpio. You must never forget that. I'm a Geddon. How are you? How are you? Cool AF. My heater is making a weird noise in the other room. Oh, thank you. My wings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Von D. What's up? What's up? You couldn't see the back too well. <laughs> what is with females and astrology? I mean, seriously. I don't know. I like. I don't really know. Um, I just know that Scorpio season is the only season that really matters. I don't get in. I don't really get into astrology so much. Um, 
I give Geminis a hard time because I've known many Geminis. So they're probably the ones I give the hardest time. Uh, and all the Geminis I know have certain traits. Most of the Scorpios I know also have certain traits, including me. So, um, so yeah, those sides are right flipping over. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I don't know how much credence I put into it, but I know I definitely have, um, some Scorpio traits, so. But I can't tell you anything about Aquarius. I don't really know what Aquarians do. I don't know any of that. I only know the people I actually know in real life. Scorpio and Virgo both end in O. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, Gemini power. Yes, yeah, see, see, Cortez is a is a Gemini. You know, I I talk the most shit about Gemini's. Yeah. Here we go. I'm not going to get into it real. I'm not going to get into it. Not going to get into it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Gemini and Scorpio belong together. I know that's not true. No, that's not true. Uh-oh. No rest mode. Where's my... <sighs> my tail keeps getting caught in my chair. What's said about Leos and Scorpio? Well, sorry, I got my, my all my stuff all up in the screen. Sorry about that. Look it up in the horoscope. We are interesting. Mm. You pray that you win the billion. I don't know. I got my ticket. I got my ticket. So I don't know. This might be the last time you guys see me. If I want a billion dollars, you may never see me again. <laughs> you may never see me again. I'll just I'll disappear. I'll disappear. Um look it up in the horoscope. You're interesting. Aquarians. I mean, they say that Leos and Scorpios should never be together, but I know for a fact that's not true. Gemini, that's you. Your green lightsaber is back here in the corner. This is my weapons corner. Well, and I also have some uh, wrapping paper, but it's right back there. My green lightsaber is right back there in that corner. I've been good, Paco. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Poof. No poofing. No poofing. I'm just saying they that's what they say, but I know for a fact that's not true. You don't read horoscopes, just people. People. People who read people are the luckiest people in the world. You win a billion, you're going to buy an island in the South Pacific. Can I come visit? <laughs> oh, my green lights. <laughs> you're telling everybody how you feel about them. You're going to buy an island and a Dairy Queen. Interesting. Oh, thank you, Milkman. Brittany Beats, what's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up? Gotta get ghost. Hmm. Yes, yes, I was doing Barbara Streisand. Of course you know that real. Of course you know that. Hey, Ray, I was just, uh, I, I just showed my outfit. I just showed my outfit. The singing, Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if I, if I won a billion dollars. I would probably faint, pass out. I don't know. Hello, Apu, Rincon. Rinkin, Rinkin, Rinkin. I don't know what I would do. I would pass out. I would. I don't know what I would do. That that's a good problem to have, though. 
<laughs> Reg hated the the broken doll. He hated the broken doll cos cosplay. He hated that. Uh, like in a Disney horror movie. Thank you, Mix Mommy. I'll take that heart. We can't go on. Go just a running away. Do you want to look me up? All right, Mr. Milkman. Um, oh, thank you, Brittany. Disney horror movie. What would be a good Disney horror movie? Thank you, Apu. That saber and them teeth look menacing. They are menacing. They are menacing. For real. Can't tell nobody. Maybe not even family. Yeah. You have to, like, you know, you have to wait on that. You have to wait on that if you win. A uh, Disney horror film. What would that be? Like, um, let's see. If we could adapt a Disney, uh, I don't know that much about Disney though. I know like Cinderella, Cinderella, or maybe like Sleeping Beauty would be a good one. Like if they took Sleeping Beauty, well, I think they, didn't they make that into a horror movie? Um, oh, the song by Heart. Oh, I don't know that one. Wait, what? Which one is that? I don't know which song that is, Justin. I know. Um, uh, these dreams go when I close my eyes Every second of the night I'm living life You would invest. Keep that money. Yeah, you have to invest, but shit, a billion dollars, that's a lot. You get like, what, like 500 million? You'll end up getting like 600 million, something like that. Frankarella. Frankarella, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They, I guess, was that a horror movie? Like, what's the one where she... Like, there's plenty of room to do some really messed up stuff. Disney is a little messed up anyway, right? And some of these were based on Grimm's fairy tales, so I think they had, like, a bit of a darker twist to them anyway. Maleficent. Ooh, Maleficent. I love that one. Love that one. Only people getting money as your kids. Mm. Yeah, I don't have I don't I don't have children, so I don't know. Nobody might not get shit from me. No, nah, they would, they would. They would. Boss! What's up? Oh, thanks. Thanks. The song never. Oh, I don't think I know I don't I don't I can't think of that one right away. Justin. So I'm not sure which one that is. Never. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. You would buy a yacht and travel the world. Um, I don't know. I would travel. I would uh, buy, like, another home somewhere else. Some really, like, cool place. I would give a lot to charity. I would give some to family as well. Uh, character. My character? What do you mean? It is not apocalypse. It is not. It is not. Don't want. Don't want. Are you giving one away? <clears throat> Maleficent is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Horror version. But the Disney version is more scary. See, there you go. There you go. I have lots of costumes, boss. I have lots of costumes, so. Yeah. I just have them. I have them. I've, I, I'm continually adding, but this is a costume I already had. I already had this. Not those Puerto Ricans. My uh, my neighborhood is all Puerto Rican. You get your billion. First thing you're going to do is buy your man. All for you to be. <laughs> you're funny, you're real. Buy my own twerk instructor. If I want a billion dollars, I, I, the last thing you would see me do is twerk. How about that? How about that? I would just come on stream, I would twerk for like five minutes poorly and then just turn off the stream and then you'll never see me again. You'll never see me again. Who I am right now. I'm cute devil, female devil. Okay, gotcha. Snow White and the Seven Gremlins. Snow White and the Seven Gremlins. You think so, Mr. B? I don't know. I hope not. Hey, Sniper Killer. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I'm bad. You're bad. 
then you said you'd buy your job and fire everybody in that MF. <laughs> For real, you are hardcore. You are hardcore. A walk-in closet full of cosplay costumes. I do have I have I have more costumes than I realized, I think. I have more than I realized. I'm not mad at it. Like it's you know. This right here though, so calm, you died too quick for me. Damn, so calm. Damn. You think I'd do good in movies? I, I think so. I need to audition. I need for people to hire me. Two negatives equal a positive. Oh, thank you, Brittany Beats. Barbie Pink. That's why you're my partner. You save me every time. Oh, look at this. Look at what's going on in the chat. Twerking isn't classing. I've never, I've never, I've never twerked, but I'm saying if I win a billion dollars, I'm going to twerk. If I win a billion dollars, I'm twerking, and then that's the last you'll see of me. I have not seen Cosplay Doctor on IG. What is that? What is Cosplay Doctor? I've heard it. I don't know what it is, Justin. I don't know what it is. Darth Maul's girlfriend. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Oh wait, I don't have my, I don't know where my phone is. I thought it was in here. Hold on, let me go get my, let me go get my phone. Twerking isn't classy, but it's sassy, so. Yeah, the Mega Millions is ridiculous, that's what I'm saying. There will be a twerk happening. If I win. Uh, <laughs> come on, sword. What's, Vios, what's going on? What's going on? Vios, aka August Moon. I feel like, I feel like um, this version could hang out with August Moon, uh, Vios's alter ego. Cosplay. She was at New York Comic Con. No, I haven't. I haven't seen her. I follow some cosplay accounts. Like I'm not a cosplayer. Like I enjoy looking at people's costumes, but I don't really consider myself. I mean, I guess some of the stuff I've done is cosplay. Um. Yes, the naughty New Yorker. Where the weed at? I don't know. You have to bring it. Yes, I'm good, Sniper Killer. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Can we get the devil to twerk? No, I. there is no... It's only a twerk if I win. If I win the Mega Millions, then you, I'll come back on. I'll do a twerk for five minutes, and then I'll be gone forever. I'm going to change my look and my identity, and... Uh, no one will be able to find me. Just saying. Damn, boss, that's messed up. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. That's what we were talking about, Vios. We were talking about if we win the Mega Millions, which is now the Billion. That's what we were talking about. Five minutes. You know what? They can put it on there if they want to, Apocalypse, because I'm going to be rich. And they can do whatever they want to with it at that point. Because I will have zero Fs given. Hello, Kale Meister. What's going on? Uh-oh. Your cousin owns a studio. In your town. And she's in a lot of Tyler Perry movies. Oh, that's cool. I hear he has like a really good, uh, cool thing happening down there in Atlanta. I auditioned for a Tyler Perry uh, movie, one, a TV show once. Um, I bombed. I bombed that audition. You didn't play. You never win anything. What? I never ever play, but trust, I, I played this. You still have time, Brittany. You still have time. You're thinking about going into acting? You sure? I mean, it's, it's a lot of competition out there. Um, you can make more money, Lola. Just claim it. <laughs> Twerking? Nah, I'm good. I'm good on that. Did I paint my arms and thighs and stuff? No, I did not. I cheated. This is, um, this is, this is, these are, uh, tights. They're, they're like stockings. And this is a Wonder Woman shirt. I have my, one of my Wonder Woman shirts. I turned it inside out. I turned it inside out. So it's, it's a little bulky because I have it tucked into my, um, tights. Hey, Jacob. What's going on? What's going on? 
Damn, Brittany and um, SOCOM, y'all are hilarious. Your, your back and forth is really hilarious tonight. Oh, she's been in Greenleaf. Oh, cool. Very cool, very cool. Um, yeah, there's like, there's so much competition in, in acting and, you know, in these auditions and stuff. And it's something that I haven't been on, a, in a, on an audition in a while. I, I should. I think once my work slows down a little bit, um, I'm going to prep so I can start going back out on auditions. Because I was doing it and then I just kind of stopped. I got frustrated and just kind of stopped. Um, you're going to punch your boss. You love green leaf. I do. I like it too. This is a succubus costume. Yeah, my fingers are painted and my face is painted. My fingers, it's my fingers, my face, my neck, my ears, all that's painted. Thank you, Apocalypse. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're not dressing up for Halloween? I dress up. I love it, Jacob. I love dressing up. I think it's so much fun. Um, you refuse, refuse to watch it because she started without you. You can catch up, Reg. Catch up. Uh, the, the parts that I saw, the ones that I, the episodes I saw, I liked. I just didn't have, um, I didn't have that channel. So I went behind. Oh, wait. Who is that? Oh, because you're a cute double, Brittany Beats. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the $4.99 super chat. Thank you. I know. I, I feel I feel like crazy that I don't have blue hair, but it wasn't it wasn't right for this. It wasn't right. It wasn't right, so I didn't. Thank you, Brittany Beats. A aka Barbie Pink. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, ah, see, Sniper Killer, it's good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you. Your friend dresses up as Anonymous with the mask and everything, the, uh, the Guy Fox mask. Hey, Pinball Village, thank you very much. What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, I don't know if this is technically Dark Lola. I'm not really feeling in the spirit of Dark Lola right now. So it's not technically Dark Lola, but maybe a little bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You think blue would look better? Like a whole blue devil? A whole blue devil? Maybe. But the blue hair with this isn't, isn't, isn't what it needs to be. You're going to fall in... What? You're going to fall... Oh, fall fling! Oh, it's like, do you have a date? Is this something that you take a date to, Jacob? Get a Sopranos table. Smurf. I thought about doing a Smurf. I thought about doing a Smurf. Mystic is blue. Is that like a blue, a blue devil? Goes on Amazon for future skin tones. Wait, what? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to do the tights. You got to do the, you got to do like the, um, the tights because you don't have to paint anything and it's much, you know, cleaner. I know, Bluey Johnson. I, oh, B, B Lamb. Yeah, Bluey Johnson was a fail. <laughs> Wait, who was that that just came in? Hey, The Promise? What's going on? What's going on? Wait, PBV. Wait, what? Oh, Mystique. Oh, Mystique needs red hair. Mystique needs red hair. You're not getting the sword. You're not getting the sword. Stop trying to sell me your soul. Hell, it's depressing enough. I'm not trying to sell you my soul, but I am collecting them. Do you care to volunteer yours? Who's interesting? You'll kill for a cookie. What is your favorite cookie? And I mean actual pastry. Actual pastry. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be for Halloween. Try and fix your PlayStation. 
Oh no. I hope you're able to fix it. Good luck. Good luck. Views in motion. If the devil looks like Lola, then I don't care about going to hell. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, SOCOM is not on Instagram. SOCOM came on Instagram for like, he was on Instagram for maybe, uh, I don't know, I want to say like two weeks. Did you make it two full weeks, SOCOM? You love surprises. Mm. <laughs> I would sing to you. I would sing some spooky songs for you. Have I tried a French kiss with these? No, I have not. These are not like real fangs. I need to, I need to, uh, these are not real fangs. These will, these will come out. Cake equals cookie. <laughs> cake does not equal cookie. I don't think so. I think it's cake and cookie. Cookie and cake. That's what I think. You know, so, not that, <laughs> not that soul, silly. Not that soul. HV, the devil did stand up. You don't know. Yes, I have wings. Oh, PBV, Pinball Village. Y'all were confusing me on that. But no, if I tried to kiss someone with these, they would probably come out in their mouth. That's not a good look. That's not a good look. But there are some more, like, um, permanent ones that you can get. Um, actually, um, Bios, a.k.a. the Nerdy New Yorker, a.k.a. Uh, August Moon, um, got, like, some fangs done. Like, he went to this place, this dude who does actual molded fangs, and he got, like, you know, I'm a succubus. I'm a succubus. I'm not the devil. I'm a succubus. So, like, I... Oh, wait. So, I, um, you know... I suck your energy and, and like I use my feminine wiles to uh, get what I want and then I use you up and toss you to the side. That's what I do. Some people actually get their teeth sharpened. Yes, I think that's crazy. I think that's crazy. I have been able to do that in the past. But not with, not with these. You can't do do that with these. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lost girl succubus. Exactly. See, billiards fun knows. Billiards fun knows. Exactly. Exactly. But you need you need a good sword to fight off other demons. You know what I mean? Like you need a good sword to fight off other demons. Or, you know, if, if a human gives you trouble, then, you know, you can work that out, too. Hey, Trippy Land, what's up? Looks great and scary. Good. Am I going to a party? No. Not, I mean, I, I do have some events to go to, like some Halloween events to go to, but I'm not going to a party just yet. Not, not today. I'm just hanging out with you guys today. I'm just going to leave you dry. Wait, what did I do? No, what did I do? Leave you dry. How am I leaving you dry? Wait, what happened? I must have missed a comment. Hold on. I don't know what I missed. Just Bluey Johnson? What did I do? What did I do? I missed something. Halloween on a weekday sucks. Not for me because... You know, I did do all this work for you. I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to go. I mean, this is where I'm going, which is here. The best succubi are red. You'd see regular Lola in your dreams. <laughs> they are. The best succubi are, are red. I don't know where you guys went without me. Oh, use them and then kick them to the side. Yes, I stand by that. I stand by that statement. I do. Man, I smell, I smell, I smell cigarettes. It's really weird. Oh, thank you, Black Hebrew. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. November first should be made a holiday. November fifth should be made a holiday. That's my birthday. Dress. <laughs> 
do the Jeepers Creepers wig thing again. Let me stand up. I smell cigarette. Hold on a second. I smell cigarettes. I don't know if like a neighbor is like smoking in their bathroom or something. Hold on. I'll be back. Uh oh, my tail turned around. I'm about to do the wing thing. Yes, I'm about to do the wing thing. Good thing there's cigarettes in hell. I don't think so. I hope not. It is the serious. Mm. Raza. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? <sighs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Cortez. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do it backwards so you can examine the mechanics of the wings. Oh, I see. That's what you're trying to do. Hey, MJ Legacy. What's going on? I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Look, guys. I got new contact lenses. I don't know if you can see them. They're red. They're red. Because of my evil way. I think I need to tell some stories. I need to tell some stories. It's about to be scary story time. Are you ready? You'd still court me. Hmm. Reg damn sure isn't slick, but you know. If this was a Halloween print, how much would it be? What do you mean if it was a Halloween print? You mean if I did like a, a photo shoot in this? I mean, I don't know. It would be the same as everything else. It would be the same. It would be the same. I I, I will be doing some more pictures. Not sure. Um, I think mommy just was like, no. <laughs> Thank you, Mix Mommy. <laughs> Give me pink eye right now. Oh what is happening? All right, hold on. I need to get an actual beverage i'm gonna get an actual beverage i'll be right back worth the show worth the shot i appreciate that i appreciate that reg i appreciate that mephistopheles yeah that's i was just talking about that boss and i think i will i, I have enough costumes i have enough costumes that i could do a cosplay calendar so i'm thinking maybe um i'm thinking you guys might actually get that I think you guys might actually get that. So, um, so yeah, so I'll work on that. Favorite Halloween memory? Uh, okay, I do have a, a favorite Halloween memory, actually. Um, let me put a little drink in my cup, and I'll come back and I will tell you my favorite Halloween memory. And then I will tell some scary stories. One, Star Wars, like Slave Leia. I was thinking I could do Slave Leia. I had to do sit-ups for Slave Leia, though, you know? I had to do sit-ups for Slave Leia. Um, I, have, I have some ideas. I have some ideas for that. Let me pour something in my glass. Hello, energy drink. 
Damn, he called you sitcom. He really just called, he just called you sitcom. I'm dead. <laughs> A mystique is on my list. A mystique is on my list. Sitcom. Oh wait, my tail. My tail gets caught. Damn, he called you sitcom. <laughs> That was so funny. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So now I have some drink in my glass. All right. Get liquid latex. I have some. I have some liquid latex. But I don't know. What? Wait. What am I doing with liquid latex, though? What am I doing with liquid latex? Oh, okay. Well, good. Uh, thank you, Black Hebrew. I thought you were gone. Welcome back. Hello, Wild Cat. <laughs> Hello, One Eyed Cat. How are you? Now, I have changed. I was drinking water. Now I have a little Jack Daniels in my glass. Okay. I'm going to tell some scary stories now. Oh, someone asked me about a favorite Halloween um, memory. Do I have a skin suit? Oh, for a skin suit? Oh, like to put liquid latex on? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You're scared of Walmart pizza, as you should be. Because I'm sure it kills. Okay. Favorite Halloween memory. Okay, so when I was a kid, right? When I was a kid, I was um, very fat. Like, I was like roly poly, like very fat. And, um, you know, but I was cute, but I was just like really kind of huge, right? So. Now that I look back on it, like, it was fun, like, I enjoyed it, but, like, my mom, every Halloween, would take me out, take me and my cousin out, trick-or-treating every Halloween, and I would be dressed in something, like, I was, like, Annie one time, hey, bass head, I was, like, Annie, I had, like, a red little wig on, and, you know, like, the sun will come out tomorrow. Like, you know, that whole thing, I was like strawberry shortcake, I was like a peasant. But my mom, every single year, my mom, who like, like my mom is still like very like pretty, like she's a pretty woman, um, but my mom used to be like friggin' hot, like hot. My mom would put on a red leotard, red leotard, pantyhose. <laughs> pantyhose, heels, and a red cape, and double horns, the kind that you just stick on the top of your head, and a pitchfork, and that's how she would take me trick-or-treating, like, every year, and my mom used to have, uh, these teeth will make me salivate, yes, um, my mom used to have huge boobs, like, huge, humongous, I did not get that, clearly, um, but she and my aunt, they're twins, they had huge, huge boobs, like ginormous. So my mom would be out with me, and I'm like this little dumpy, you know, little kid, 
looking like, and I had thick glasses. I had like really big, um, no, not precious. No, I wasn't that big. But um, I used to have these big, thick glasses. And, uh, yeah, like, man. So, yeah, she used to have these big boots because she ended up getting them reduced because they were causing her um, back problems. Um, but, yeah, so she would wear this red leotard and, like, you know, like, take me trick-or-treating. And, like, we would go to these houses this is in the suburbs, mind you, and we'd go to these houses, and my mom would be, like, waiting at the end of the driveway, like, in her red, you know, in her her red leotard and red cape and pitchfork, and, like, all, like, the dads, like, all the dads were, like, checking for my mom, like, all the guys, like, who would answer the door, all the men who answered the door and stuff were all, like, checking for my mom, so that's, like, a favorite childhood memory because, like, now I can, like, laugh about it. Now I can laugh about it, but, like, thinking about it, it seems like it was a little ridiculous and over the top. But, you know, yeah. Show you a picture of me as a child. Hmm. I don't know if you guys will get that. I don't know if I can give you guys that. No, it's just me. <laughs> no, just me. Just me. Fatality! Where you been, man? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah, Dolly Parton status for sure. Dolly Parton status. Oh. Yeah, Dolly Parton status. Did she knock on the... No, she didn't. No, she didn't do all that. But like, you know, she would wait for me to go up and get the candy. And uh, yeah. Like, so it was like a thing. And she wore the same costume every single year. Like, she never switched it up. She was always the red devil at, at Halloween. So this is kind of like my mom, like, 2.0 costume, um, minus the boobs. No, that wasn't the scary story. They said a memorable childhood Halloween story. Hey, homebrew. What's up? Oh, you have a twin brother. Sweet. Are you identical? My mom is identical. She's an identical twin. You were without internet? Damn. Well, it's good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm sorry to hear that. You need to get that unlimited, Vitality. You need to get that unlimited. Um, but now I'm going to tell some scary stories. Yeah, my mom doesn't have the 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 ass. She never had the ass that I that I have. Um, no, I will not be Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, before Halloween. No, Elvira is not really my thing. Like it's cool, or whatever, but she doesn't really do it for me. Like I'd rather do something like this. I'd rather do something like this. Red Dead Redemption is not out yet. Base head, it's out. Friday. It's out on Friday. I, it's already on my machine. I'm just waiting so I can press play on it. Get Metro PCS hotspot. I can't wait for Red Dead Redemption. Cortez, I'm not even talking to you about this. I'm not I'm not even I'm not even having this discussion with you about Red Dead. I'm not even having this discussion cuz you know we already know that we've had our disagreements when it comes to the first Red Dead Redemption. So I can't even have this discussion with you. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Hey, Miss Notch. What's going on? What's going on? Why is Red Dead taking so long? It's almost here. It's almost upon us. Yes, I'm all for the day one patch. I'm all for the day one patch. I have 90 some of my gigabytes that I need. Oh, oh, congratulations on the PlayStation VR. Congratulations. Might make some Red Dead 2 in the hood voiceover. <laughs> Are you going to do that, Trey? Well, today you have fatality. Today you have. Remember this day always. Miss Notch got here just in time for story time. Wait, I need to... Oh, wait, my phone... 
that's right. I forgot. I hold on. I forgot. I need to find my phone because I had to check a message. Hold on. Hold on. Uh. All right. Blue hair would not be better with this. It would not. It would not. Trust me. Just trust me on this. Trust me. This is this is a rare moment. Like you all should enjoy this. This is a rare moment. This won't happen again. This won't happen again. All right, it might happen again, but because um, I owe you guys something, so all right, I'll be right back. This ain't new, Lola. <laughs> I told you I have one more thing. I said I have one more thing that I owe, Mr. B. I said I have one more thing. I'll oh, see you later, SOCOM. Bye. Thank you, base. Evil Smurf? Who's calling me an evil Smurf? Who's calling me an evil Smurf? Red Devils are the best. They are. Thank you, Reg. I'm glad you came over to, to my side of things. All right, let's see here. Let me check this out. A zipper, a Zippo can lighter fluid. I don't know what that means, my thumb. I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah. No. I do know that song. You're right. You know, you're right. I do I do know that song, Justin. Like an hour later, I checked in. What happened to your cat? Oh wait, let me um sing some thriller. Nope. Nope, I'm not singing any thriller. Alright, hold on. Scary Halloween stories. Scary Halloween stories. Are you ready? You haven't. You're just explaining my mistakes. I'm going to get you, Reg. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Ashley, Larry, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Um, Lolly? Do a funny costume like Shawanda. Who is Shawanda? Yes, you should do the thriller. Of course you should do the thriller dance on, on IG. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. That's all I know. Okay, let me see. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. And she's still limping, so I don't know what she's doing. I did sing Barney for you. I love you. You love me. I don't really know that song though. Shawanda, get your ass in this kitchen and wash these dishes. Smelling like your grandma. <laughs> Smelling like your grandma. Damn. That's messed up. That's messed up, Fatality. That's messed up. That's messed up. These stories are not good. 
All right, hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to get some good stories so I can tell you guys some good stories. I haven't seen I haven't been watching Flash at all. I tried to watch it and it got on my nerves. So Splinter Nut isn't here. What's up? Yeah, you have to see um, Fatalities. We all have to see Fatalities Thriller Dance. <laughs> you know the Barney song with no Mary. I do know some Mary. I said, uh, real love. I'm searching for real love. That's all I know. Tell you one of my nightmares. I don't really remember nightmares. I don't really remember nightmares. Um, hey, Ja. What's up? I used to have nightmares about water. Like everything was like water. Like whenever I was stressed out, I used to have dreams about like massive, massive amounts of water. That song. Oh, as hell. I know. That's all I know. That's the only one I know. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. No, these are not good either. It is being worked. We have many more days. We have a few more days until Halloween. I still have time, Miss Notch. I still have time. So, you know. I don't know what you have against my doll, my creepy doll cosplay, Reg. I know her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. Hello, Captain Fatboy, USA. You ain't never gonna see it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I went to the fabric store yesterday. I have some fabric. I have some fabric to make my cape, so that's my project for tomorrow. I'm planning on making my storm cape tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's my plan. That's my plan, so we'll see. And I also feel like because my birthday is the following week, if I don't make it for Halloween, I still have time before my birthday to get it together. So, yeah. Hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. I know it has, Miss Notch. I know. I know. I, I've been pretty. I've been pretty trife about my um, my storm. You know, I'm like intimidated by the storm cos costume. Like, my Wonder Woman was the same way. Like, it took me a very long time to get Wonder Woman together, and I've loved Wonder Woman my whole entire life. Took me a very long time to get it together, you know? Right, of course you know it. Real, I know what kind of songs you know. Because you'll sing, like, some Phantom of the Opera with me in a minute. In a, in a, in a hot second. Uh, my birthday is November 5th. So it's the very next week after Halloween. So there's still time. There's still time. I know I am overthinking it, but because I feel so passionately about Storm, like Storm is my girl, like Storm is my Marvel alter ego. So I want to do it justice. I don't want to just put on some raggedy ass um, Halle Berry as Storm costume talking about, hey, y'all, I'm Storm, stand back, hold on to something. No, I'm not going out like that. Like it has to be right. It has to be right. And if it's not right, I'm not doing it until it's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jay, what's going on? Oh, I love musicals. Oh my gosh. I love musicals. Do you ever go to Broadway shows, Real? It is not just some black leggings or cat. Nope. Nope. If you want to get on me, Reg, about a succubus and a devil and whatever, this right here is unacceptable. This right here, all this that you just said right here, when you're talking about Storm, it's just some black leggings or cat suit with a yellow belt and a white cape. All of this is wrong. Every single thing that you just said right here is wrong. 
and unacceptable. And that's why people out here looking crazy as Storm, thinking they look like Storm, and they don't because this is what they did. No, that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Oh, okay. All right. Just saying. Just saying. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> I can't. Miss not. you're on timeout for that. You were on timeout. You were on timeout. One Broadway show where you were forced. How do you get forced to go to a Broadway show? Oh my gosh, Broadway is amazing. Broadway is amazing. Wheezy from the Jefferson. <laughs> I can't. Nobody wants to see Wheezy from the Jefferson's, boss. Storm chilling on a Thursday night. Do rag or rollers in her hair. T-shirt and house shoes. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Right, telling me just a black cat suit. No. Unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Okay. I'm going to tell some creepy ghost stories. I need to get some music. Hold on. Let me get some music. Um, where am I going to do it? You felt less than a man, but the girl was fine. No. Shoot. Those, um, those musical theater, mm -mm. those musical theater guys, they are the worst ones. Trust me, I know. Wheezy Jefferson, hell yeah. <laughs> I'll put Wheezy Jefferson in my calendar. Wheezy. Well, moving on up. Okay, yes, ghost stories, Billiard's fun, ghost stories. I just need to get some, some music, some creepy music to play for you. I just need my music to be uh, royalty free, so one moment. One moment, please. Um, Halloween music, royalty free. At this point, anything resembling Storm. I know, I know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't know exactly when it's going to be, but it will be. Yes, Nikki D does. Nikki D has that humor and all of that. So, <clears throat> she does. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Boom. Okay, the ad has to play first. I'm a succubus, Jay. I'm a succubus. It's a form of a demon. Wait, is this royalty free? This is not royalty free. See, you tried to trick me. I see you. I see you, dark music world. Trying to trick trick me. <clears throat> okay, here we go. This doesn't sound like it. Thank you, Jay. What about succubus? Wait, why am I timing you out? <clears throat> Welcome back, Craig. Welcome back. I'm trying to find some royalty-free uh, Halloween music that I can use to tell my scary stories. My scary stories. <laughs> okay. Um... Man. Okay, fuck it. That's for children. All right, let's see. All right, well, we're going to see if this works. 
Can you guys hear that music? I know. I wasn't I wasn't thinking of it, Craig. No, I'm not putting on the Exorcist theme song. This music is trash. Trash. Okay. Okay. Now it's time for the Halloween stories. The scary stories that will haunt your dreams. And make your nightmares. I don't know, is this loud enough? This is not really the vibe I was going for. Here we go. Okay, whoever did, y'all are doing too much with this Halloween music. Why is this some trap ass Halloween music? No. No, it does sound like I'm about to do a Fortnite dance. No. What do you buy Mattel? All right, hold on. Let me switch to the next one. What the hell? Okay, let's try this one. Okay. I can't. I can't even. No. I'm sorry, guys. It has to be right. It has to be right. <sighs> oh, yeah, this is what I want right here. Okay, here we go. Let me come close. This song is called, oh no, I don't, no, not the song. It's not about the song. This song is called The Licked Hand. The Licked Hand. It's the witching hour on a dark, moonless night. Oh no, that's not the beginning of the story. One moment, let me scroll down further. A young girl named Lisa often had to spend time alone at home at night as her parents worked late. They bought her a dog to keep her company and to protect her. One night, Lisa was awakened by a dripping sound. She got up and went to the kitchen to make sure the tap was off. As she was getting back into the bed, she stuck her hand under the bed and the dog licked it. The dripping sound continued. So she went to the bathroom and made sure the tap was turned off there too. She went back to her bedroom and stuck her hand under the bed and the dog licked it again. The dripping continued, drip, Drip, drip. This time she listened and located the source of the dripping. It was coming from her closet. She opened the closet door and there she found her poor dog hanging upside down with its neck cut. Written on the inside of the cupboard was, humans can lick too. The end, that's the end. That don't sound right. Lisa needs to take her ass to a gynecologist. <laughs> Miss Nudge. Yes, I think Lisa needed some antibiotics. <laughs> Lisa needed some antibiotics, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's the end of that story. It was a little short. It was a little short. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Some things are better left unseen. That's the title of this scary story. Two dorm mates in college, dorm mates in college were in the same science class. Looking is good, yes. <clears throat> the teacher had just reminded them about the midterm the next day when one dorm mate, let's call her Julie, got invited to a party by the hottest guy in school. The other dorm mate, Meg, had pretty much no interest in going and, being a diligent student, took notes on the material that would appear on the midterm. After spending all her time flirting with her date, Julie was totally unprepared for her test. You want to read a real scary story? Let me not get my direct deposit on Friday, damn. <laughs> like a spoon that I left unseen. What is this? This is not, this is not, come on, dude. Okay. At the end of the day, Julie spent hours getting ready for the party while Meg started studying. Julie tried to get Meg to go, but Meg was persistent that she needed to study and pass the test. Julie went to the party and had the time of her life with her date. She headed back to the dorm around 2 a.m. and decided not to wake Meg. She went to bed nervous about the midterm and decided she would wake up early to ask Meg for help. In the morning, Meg was lying on her stomach, apparently sound asleep. Julie rolled her over to reveal Meg's terrified face. Julie, concerned, turned on the desk lamp. Meg's study stuff was still open and had blood all over it. Meg had been slaughtered. Julie, in horror, fell to the floor and looked up to see it written on the wall in Meg's blood. Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? What the hell does that even mean? What does that mean? Damn, Craig got fired again. No. Okay, this are, these are bad. These are, these are bad stories, hold on. are not good stories. I need to find some better ones. Of Alrona? Alrona? <clears throat> I don't know what kind of bootleg story this was. I, they said they were supposed to be scary, and it's not scary. Julie is a freak. She tried to get Meg in a threesome and killed her for not, not smashing again. <laughs> I know. I, I have these people writing these badass stories. Man. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find some better ones. Mm -mm. When the Cloverfield monster was here, well... You know, when the Cloverfield monster was here, um, you know, it was just really important to find a good hiding area, good hiding place. You know, there was a lot of destruction and everything. And, um, you know, it was, it was pretty scary, but we made it through. We made it through. La Yarona? Yarona? All right, let me see. La Yarona. Let's see. La Yarona. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. Cloverfield Monster Babies. I'm not sure about that. Yes, Lady in the White Dress. Oh, this is just like a... This is like about somebody... Google child support. I can't. I shut up, Craig. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. You live close to where people say they see her? Really, Ashley Larry? All right, let me see if I can give you a La Llorona story. In English, not in Spanish. Unless you want to hear it in English. All right. Oh, this is one of those stories about somebody killing their own children. That's, that's, I don't like those stories. I don't like those stories. You don't have kids, but you're not against it. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a really good scary story. Hold on, to tell you guys, and then I'm gonna get out of here. I don't know Slenderman. I don't know Slenderman, boss. Okay, here we go. This story is too damn long. What in the world? I don't have time to read all this. Okay. Japanese only fear two things, tsunami and Godzilla. How Trump got elected by Ernest Hemingway. Okay, let me see. Short, scary story. No, that's for kids. We don't want that. We want grown ass people, uh, stories. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Okay, Reg. This new old house is what this is called. What in the world? Here we go. We bought an old house, my boyfriend and I. He's in charge of the new construction, converting the kitchen into a master bedroom, for instance, while I'm on wallpaper removal duty. The previous owner papered every wall and ceiling. Removing it is brutal, but oddly satisfying. The best feeling is getting a long peel similar to your skin when you're peeling from a sunburn. I don't know about you, but I kind of make a game of peeling on the hunt for the longest piece before it rips. Under a corner section of paper in every room is a person's name and a date. Curiosity got the best of me one night when I googled one of the names and discovered the person was actually a missing person. The missing date matching the date under the wallpaper. The next day I made a list of all the names and dates. Sure enough, each name was for a missing person with dates to match. We notified the police who naturally sent out the crime scene team. I overheard one tech say, yup, it's human. Human? What's human? Ma'am, where's the material you moved from the walls already? This isn't wallpaper you were removing. It was skin, y'all. It was skin. The longest piece. She searches for the longest piece. The longest piece. Hello, Unique. Seeing red, the first day of school. Everyone loves the first day of school, right? New year, new classes, new friends. It's a day full of potential and hope. <laughs> Before all the dreary depressions of reality show up to ruin all the fun. I like the first day of school for a different reason, though. You see, I have a sort of power. When I look at people, I can sense a sort of aura around them. 
a colored outline based on how long that person has to live. Most everyone I meet around my age is surrounded by a solid green hue. Oh wait, which means they have plenty of time left. A fair amount of them have a yellowish orange tinge to their auras, which tends to mean a car crash or some other tragedy. Anything that takes people before their time, as they say. The real fun is when the auras venture into the red end of the spectrum. Every now and again, I'll see someone who's basically a walking stoplight. Those are the ones who get murdered or kill themselves. It's such a rush to see them and know their time is numbered. With that in mind, I always get to class very early so I can scout out my classmates' fate. The first kid who walked in was basically radiating red. I chuckled to myself. <laughs> Too damn bad, bro. But as people kept walking in, they all had the same intense glow. I finally caught a glimpse of my rose-tinted reflection in the window, but I was too stunned to move. Our professor stepped in and locked the door, his aura a sickening shade of green. Damn, I think their teacher was like gonna kill them all. That's crazy. I don't know what happened, Schism. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. One moment, everyone. We need a brief intermission. We need a brief intermission. Cho! I didn't see Cho came in. What is going on? <laughs> hey, Cho, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for the super chat donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Cho. It's good to see you. Good to see you, good to see you. All right. <clears throat> that one was kind of weak. These stories are these stories are bad. I don't know where to find like good stories. Good ghost stories. I think I have a book on my shelf. I have a book of scary ghost stories. No, I didn't grab a drink. I had to tend to my chat. I had to tend to my chat. I was neglecting my chat. Oh, thank you, Cho. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm drinking a bit of Jack Daniels in my bloody glass. That's what I'm drinking. A good book to read? Um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really been reading um, that many books lately. Sure, Unique. Sure. Your missus said you don't need to dress up for Halloween. Cho, are you going to be streaming on Halloween? Of course you have to dress up. Of course you have to dress up. Why not? Why would you not dress up? Hold on, I'm trying to give you my full costume. One moment. You look like Lurch in it. You do not, Cho. You do not look like Lurch. You do not. My retractable wings. I need to stop drinking Jack and get a Jack a better, uh, Scary stories, I know. I'm gonna get um, The Devil Made You Do It. Mm. All right, hold on. I have a, a book of scary stories over here, so one second. One moment. One moment. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Cho. Uh oh, I'm stepping on my tail. I'm stepping on my tail. This is my my demon tail. I actually made this. I made this. I sewed this and everything. It's like fake leather. I have my hair tie on here so I can put it on my wrist. 
<clears throat> yeah. So this is my, my costume. My succubus costume. The tail doesn't whip. I mean, the tail will whip. I can make it whip. This is a pulley system. This is a pulley system, boss. That's what this is. This is a pulley system. It is a pulley system for the wings. That's what it is. This is kind of a look for a comic. I was going to go full purgatory on it, um, which when I do my um, photos, when I do my photos, I may do um, yeah, cobwebs on my thing. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a full purgatory. I know, I know Miss Notch, but this was, I've had this costume, I've had this costume for a while. Like I made this some years ago for Halloween, so this is something I had for a while. Um, and I kind of just put it, you know, put it together. So I've had, I've done this before. Ah, thank you, Cho. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Likewise, y'all make sure if you're into Fortnite, um, also Black Ops, make sure to check out Cho. Um, very nice guy, great streamer, um, entertaining streams, talks to his, uh, talks to everyone who comes in and is always very welcoming and, um, and always comes through and shows the, and shares the love. So thank you so much, Cho. It's much appreciated. Good night. Good night. You gotta wait. Y'all gotta wait. If I, you know, if I'm gonna do it, I have to do it right. I'm not gonna half-ass it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you mean if my feet were off the ground? I don't know how to do that, boss. You're the you're the cosplay master on that. Cobwebs on your thing. To I'm dead. Justin just killed me. Justin literally just killed me with that statement. I can't. I can't. I can't even. Justin just like, I'm just going to fall on my sword. I'm just going to fall on my sword. <laughs> it better be dope for the two-year wait to see it. Damn, Miss Notch, I got you. I got you. Everett Harriso and his work. I would make a good indie actress. Thank you, Everett Harriso. Okay, I will look into it. I will look into it. Thank you, Billy. It's fine. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Real ghost stories. Let's see. Why are these too long? And that's not what she said. Okay. I know. I want to see what Miss Notch got has going on too. I can shot star in Jigsaw too. Okay, let's see. Let me see if I can find a good story in here. Here we go. <laughs> Your eyes better be glowing. You better be levitating in the air and be able to cause a real lightning storm when it's done. I'm done. I'm so finished. I'm so finished. Ms. Notch, you're on time out for that comment. You're on time out for that comment. <laughs> oh, shit. She says she just looks cute all the time. F a costume. Damn. I love it. I love it. Miss Notch is awesome. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> a message to mother beyond the grave. Lolly, you are messing up my stream. <sighs> Lolly, I'm trying to tell a ghost story.
Okay, here we go. Now it is quiet. A message to mother from beyond the grave. On February 10th, 1933, Maurice Barbanel sat in a darkened room with medium Estelle Roberts. As the spirit voice of a young girl began to speak hesitantly through Roberts. Come along, said Barbanel, who also an accomplished medium to encourage the disembodied voice. Come and talk to me. Pretend the dog's a zombie. No, y'all are messing up my story. I am Betsy Manning, and I want to, you to send a message to my mother, the voice told him. Mother has been reading some of your articles about direct voice seances and psychic news. Please tell her you spoke to me. Barbanel assured the spirit voice that he would send a message the next morning. Pleased with his response, Betsy continued, Tell Mother I still have my long braids. I am 22 and have blue eyes. I died with tuberculosis last Easter. I have brought along my brother Tammy, Tommy, who was killed by... What? Okay, this is trash. I'm sorry, guys. This is an awful, awful story. This is an awful story. These stories are trash. I'm trying to tell these stories, and they're garbage. They're garbage. The only thing scary about these stories is how bad they are. That's the only thing scary about them. This is ridiculous. Wolf, wolf, kibbles and bits. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to tell some damn scary horror stories this Halloween, damn it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. All right, I'm going to make up my own scary story. I'm going to make up my own scary story. So, uh, all right, somebody give me some subjects here, and I'm going to make up a story. Give me some Give me some things. Throw out some things. Throw out some story, like a, like a premise. Give me a good premise. A good premise for a scary story, and I'll take it, and I'll run with it, and I'll make something truly terrifying out of it truly terrifying i just need something to work with because these stories are garbage these stories are trash i hope these people aren't not getting paid for this like there's this is an actual book this is an actual book like somebody got paid for that somebody got paid for that if it don't involve sex it's whack all right, we can put sex in it. Okay, so it needs to have sex in it. Justin wants it to have Neverland Ranch. Ooh, I like that as a setting. All right, hold on. Let me get my notebook. No, I can't remember this. Okay, so Neverland Ranch, some sex, cheap weave, stale bread, and a jet magazine. Okay, wait. Okay, so Neverland Ranch. All right, let me write this down. I'll, I'll put it in my phone. Neverland Ranch, some sex. Hello, Dimage. Yes, the dog is scratching something. Dog is scratching something. Okay. Here we go. All right, let me see. Let me make a new note. New Neverland Ranch. Uh, sex. What else? What else is it? Uh, what did you say? I'm only going to use one of uh, Ashley Larry put too many things in there. I'm going to use. I don't know about. Okay, I can use all of that. Cheap weave. Cheap weave, stale bread, and a jet magazine. A jet magazine. Okay. Anything else? Um, all right, we'll use the scratching sound. Scratching sound. I like the scratching sound. Now you want mafia and a long condom. I'm not putting a long condom in there. But we will have some sex. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make the story up. The dog barking and scratching for dear life. Okay. Scratching sound and barking for dear life. Okay. Is that everything? Is that everything? I don't know if I can fit mafia in there, too. Justin, I don't know if I can fit Mafia in there. You know what? I can put Mafia in there. Okay, Mafia. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the story. And it's it's Lolly. It's Lolly, not Molly. It's Lolly. Okay. 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 Give me a uh, give me a guy's name, a guy's name. Give me a guy's name. <laughs> Miss Notch, that is messed up. You were wrong. You were so wrong for this. You were wrong for that. You were wrong for that. Somebody said Craig. Somebody said Mike. Somebody said Frank. Somebody said Ray Ray. All right, I'm going to I'm going to use I'm going to use Frank cuz I like Frank. That name isn't in the thing. Hey Zombie Queen. Okay, so Frank and Vlad. Okay. Frank and Vlad. All right. And give me a um Vlad. Okay. And Okay. So Okay, I have I have the base of my story. I have the base of my story with what you guys gave me. So I'm formulating it in my head right now. <clears throat> okay. Anemone for the girl. Okay, I can do anemone. Lolly. Anemone. Okay, anemone. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this is the story. Hello, Joker. How are you? All right. This is the story of Frank and the Neverland Ranch. Thank you, Patrick. Okay. Once upon a time, there was this boy named Frank. Frank was 17 years old. Hello, Benny. Frank, hello, Juan. Frank was 17 years old. It was his lifelong dream to go to the Neverland Ranch. He was a huge Michael Jackson fan. But Michael Jackson passed away before Frank ever had a chance to see him, before he ever had a chance to go to Neverland Ranch. One day, this guy Vlad, Frank's uncle Vlad, who is the head of the Italian Mafia in Frank's hometown. They're a small operation. They're nothing like, you know, the Sopranos or anything. It's just a smaller operation, but people are scared of Vlad, but not Frank because it's his uncle. So, Vlad tells Frank that he has a job for him. If he wants to get into the Mafia, he has to do this one thing. He needs Frank to go to Neverland Ranch. He needs Frank. This is a period piece, Miss Notch. This is a period piece. And this is, this is some years ago. This is some years ago, okay? This is some years ago. All right. So, here's this one thing. Now, Vlad had sold this one artifact. He had sold this one artifact, and Michael Jackson had purchased it.
Michael Jackson had purchased it and Vlad wanted it back. It was a family heirloom that Vlad had given up a while ago. Sure, I will show you my costume. <clears throat> so, you know, he told, he told Frank, he says, look, you know, I need you to break into Neverland Ranch and steal this artifact back. Not sure what the artifact was, but it was something that was very important to Vlad. Welcome back, Scoops. So Frank always wanted to go to Neverland Ranch anyway, and he also really wanted to get into the Mafia. So he was able to go on a tour of Neverland Ranch because he's 17. He's 17, so he was able to go on this tour. They opened it up for one day. They opened up Neverland Ranch for one day. So Frank got to actually see Neverland Ranch. As he was there for the tour, he snuck away from the tour group. And he knew that he was gonna search, have to search high and low for this artifact, for this family artifact. So he snuck away from the group and he hid out until Neverland Ranch closed. As he was there, and it was approaching midnight, he came out of his hiding place to look around. And he ended up in this den this den area at Neverland Ranch. Now, if you've ever seen Neverland Ranch, there are all sorts of life-size dolls and life-size animals and, and animatronic things and stuff at Neverland Ranch. But all these creepy dolls are there. So even though it was his lifelong dream to be at Neverland Ranch, he never really knew that he was gonna be there after hours in the dark. And so as he's walking through the halls, looking for this book, it was a book. Looking for this book, he's walking through the halls and he walks through and he feels like he's being watched. And he's excited to be in there, but he's also, you know, he's also a little, you know, he was not. So, he feels like he's being watched. He sees some eyes glowing in the corner and he looks, but it's just one of Michael Jackson's creepy dolls, creepy life-size dolls standing in the corner. He also thinks that he sees something moving in the next hallway, but he feels that it's just his eyes playing tricks on him. So he has his flashlight, you know, on his cell phone. He is using his cell phone, he's 17. He's using his cell phone and he hears some scratching in the distance. He hears like a scratching sound, like. So he kind of brushes it off. He thinks that there must be some sort of animal or something that got into the house. Maybe there's a dog, maybe it's a raccoon or something, like some sort of animal got into the house. It was not Lola hiding in MJ's bedroom. But he, then he hears the scratching again, louder. It was Jermaine as Frank in the witness. But I'm done. I can't. He hears the scratching again, louder. At this point, he's in the study. He's in the study, and there are all these books. There's like a wall full of books. A wall full of books, right? A wall full of books. The doll walks up to him and says, you are not alone. No, he, that doesn't happen, Craig. Damn, y'all know how to mess up a damn story. Anyway, he's in the study and he's looking for this one book because at this point, you know, he feels like eyes are watching him. He feels like, you know, he hears the sound. The scratching is still coming. The scratching is coming, but now it's coming from a different area. Then he hears a girl's voice. He hears a girl's voice going, Frank, Frank, and 
he knows that he's alone, right? He knows that he's alone, but then he's like, well, I don't know, like maybe, maybe someone else stayed behind from the tour. Maybe someone else stayed behind. So he's like, hello, is anybody there? Because you know people always have to say that. And he's like, hello, is anyone there? Then he hears from behind him, Frank, Frank. And he turns around and looks, but he doesn't see anyone. He doesn't see anyone. And now he's completely freaked out. Now he's totally freaked out. He's like, I'm just going to get this damn book and I'm getting out of here. So he runs over. He runs over to the to the uh, to to the to the study wall to the to the bookcase. It's a large bookcase. Hey, thank you, haters. It's a large bookcase, and there's one of those ladders. You know those ladders, like in libraries with really tall ceilings. So he climbs up on this ladder, right? And he thinks he sees the book that he's looking for. He climbs up on this ladder. And he climbs up on the ladder and then directly under him, thank you, James, he hears, Frank, be careful. And he looks down and at the base of the ladder, there's this gorgeous girl. She's probably like, I don't know, like 18 or something, 18, 19. He sees this gorgeous girl at the foot of the ladder. And he's trying to remember if he saw her in, in, you know, in the tour group earlier. And he's like, you know, he almost falls and he catches himself. He catches himself on the ladder. He sees the book he wants. He grabs the book. He comes down the ladder and there's this girl and she's still standing there. And like, she's beautiful. Like she has dark black hair. It's long. She has light eyes. They're so light, like they're almost glowing. But she's gorgeous. Like, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's not a girl, it's MJ. No, it's not. She's like beautiful. And he's like, oh my God. Like, Frank is 17, Ashley Larry. Frank is 17. So, no. Frank is 17. So he's like, you know, his breath like catches. And he's like, Oh, I, I thought I was the only one in here. Like, how did you get in here? Who are you? And she's like, oh, hi, you know, my name is Anemone. And he's like, Anemone, that's that's an interesting name. And, um, and she's like, yeah, you know, she's like, um, you know, I was with the tour group earlier and I got separated and then I got lost. And he doesn't remember seeing her. He doesn't remember seeing her at all. And, um, and he's like, okay, well, I have what I need. Like, I, I'm trying to get out of here. Like, I'm, I'm like, this place is freaking me out. They're like these creepy ass dolls at every corner. Like, I'm trying to get out of here, you know, so come with me. So, you know, so he grabs her hand and they head towards the exit or what he thinks is the exit, right? He has the book in his right hand. He's holding her hand in the left and they're, they're, you know, they're trying to find their way out. They're trying to find their way out. And um, she trips on the way out. She trips and, and falls down. And he's like, oh my God, like, you know, are you okay? You know, and he helps her up. When he helps her up, she looks at him and he's like mesmerized by her eyes. And then she just like kisses him, like kisses him like hard, kisses him. And like, he is like, like, oh my God, like what in the world? Like, like he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. Like he's never done anything before. Like he's never had sex before. Like, you know, he's never really gone that far with a girl before. He's a little bit of a late bloomer and he's never had anybody like anemone interested in him. So he's like, you know, he's like, he grabbed her hand because, you know, she, he's trying to help her out. And, you know, he was feeling her a little bit or whatever. But she kisses him on the lips. And that's it. Like, that's it. Like, he, she kisses him. They, like, start making out, right? They start making out, like, hard. They start making out. Now, you know, 
Frank is a little inexperienced in this situation. He's a little inexperienced, but it's so weird. But it's like a, like he can't pass it up because this girl is hot. You know, it's hot. She's hot. So, like, they fumble their way, like, into this bedroom, right? They fumble their way into this bedroom, and they fall, like, you know, on this bed. They fall on this bed, and they're, like, going at it, like, going at it, at it. Like, you know, yeah. Like, it's, you know, like, it's going down. It's going down, and it's so crazy, and, and Frank is, like, so excited and, uh, like, really excited, so, you know, he uh, goes ahead and, you know, they do it. They do it. It's very, it's over very quickly because Frank is a novice. It's over very quickly. And, uh, and, you know, he's like, oh my God, like, that's crazy. Like, I've never done anything like that before. And that was amazing. Like, that was amazing. And she looks at him you know she looks at him and she's like frank like no one's here like no one's here let's just stay let's just stay until the morning like let's just stay until the morning yeah definitely like less than two minutes it was his first time so um you know she's like let's just stay until the morning let's just you know just hold me until the morning and he's like whatever you know like it's it's like two o'clock in the morning at this point it's like two o'clock in the morning, so he doesn't care. Like he's like, shit, you know, she's hot. Maybe we can do it again. I don't know. You know, we'll get out of here when it's daylight and we, when we can see what's happening. So, um, you know, so they fall asleep. They fall asleep. Frank is awakened by more scratching. This time, right next to the bed. Right next to the bed, he hears scratching, more scratching. And he wakes up, he wakes up, and he reaches for anemone. He reaches for anemone, and he doesn't feel her in the bed. Like, he doesn't feel her in the bed. And he fumbles, you know, for his, you know, and the scratching is just getting louder and louder and louder, and the scratching is louder. And, uh... You know, there's like this shuffling sound and he's trying to find anemone, anemone. He's like, we have to get out of here. We have to get out of here. And he turns his light on, on the phone. He turns the light on, on the phone and he shines the light. He shines the light next to him on the bed. He shines the light next to him on the bed. And in the bed with him is nothing but a handful of cheap weave and a crust of stale bread. That's all there is. The cheap weave is the same color hair that Anemone had. And the stale crust of bread is there laying on the pillow where he last saw her head. He jumped up and he grab he goes to grab for the book, the family heirloom. He goes to grab for the fair fam family heirloom. He's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm getting the hell out of here. And he looks for the book. He looks for the book. He grabs what he thinks is the book. He grabs what he thinks is the book and all is there in his hand is an old jet magazine. The book is gone. It's just an old jet magazine. He jumps up. He runs. He's like running, trying to find the way out. He's trying to find the way out. He hears something chasing him. He hears a voice behind him going, Frank, Frank, don't leave me, Frank. And it's Anemone's voice. And he looks back and he doesn't see anything. All he sees are the glowing eyes. All he sees are the glowing eyes. And he just runs and runs and runs. And he tries every door. He tries every door. But everywhere he looks, there are these creepy dolls. And as he passes, the creepy doll's heads turn and look at him. Frank never made it out of Neverland Ranch. He never made it out of Neverland Ranch. And to this day, if you go to Neverland Ranch, you will see a creepy doll in the corner. 
that kind of looks real, but it's not. Vlad still is looking for Frank to this day. Vlad, his uncle, is still looking for him. He never got the book back. He never got the family heirloom. And he lost his nephew. The end. The end. I'm sorry, my dog has to go out. I have to take my dog. Thank you, James. My dog has to go out. So hold on, I have to take her outside. And I have to actually carry her outside. So I'm going outside, but hold on one second. That's the end of my story though. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I'll come back for my critiques. I'll come back for my uh, for my for my critique on my scary story. But I felt that I did a good job considering, you know, I used what you guys gave me. I did everything that y'all asked to have in the story, including Ashley Larry's cheap weave, stale bread, and the jet magazine. Vlad sent him on a suicide mission. He did. Sorry, y'all. Lolly is out there. She's out there, like, she's out there taking a dump. <laughs> she has not been starving for weeks. Damn, you said my story was trash. <laughs> That's messed up. It wasn't. It wasn't the best story, but I felt it was better than those ones I was reading. All right, let me see what comments I missed because I know y'all were talking shit. Hold on. One day, Frank in the kitchen realized he was fucked the condom rope. Take the cell. <laughs> oh, man. Razor. Yeah, Lolly is outside taking a dump. Sorry, guys. I have to go check on her again. I'll be back. Hold on, let me... Oh wait, there we go. Alright, hold on, let me check on her. I'll be right back.
she's just hanging out. She's just hanging out. Since I'm not a scanner on screen. You didn't hear the ending. How did you not hear the ending? How did you not hear the ending? Like, it's weird though. Like, I went outside and there was like a baby crying in the distance. Oh wait, here she comes. Here she comes. I didn't want you to come up the steps by yourself. Come here, puppy. Come here. I was reading, right? I thought so. I thought so too. I thought so too. All right. All right. We're almost coming to the conclusion. We're almost coming to the conclusion of this stream. Oh, I should have taken the price tag off of this candelabra. But I didn't. It was $9.99 at Rite Aid, but it was 50% off with your card. I got this for $5 at Rite Aid. $5. It's a Halloween miracle. A Halloween miracle. Wait, my tail is in the front. Wait, my tail is in the front. Wait, let me. Yes, right aid. Right aid. Thank you. Thank you, B Lamb. Thank you. I did my best. Y'all need to come up with some better things that work together a little better next time if I'm going to be making up these stories. Because y'all gave me a lot of different things to work with. A lot of different things to work with. Hello, Martin. Martin Tommy. Oh, rest in peace. I got it at one of those bodegas. No, I have some things that I've gotten at the bodega, but this is not one of them. This came from the Rite Aid. Thank you. There's nothing wrong with the bodega. The bodega will hook you up with some stuff. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely your fault. You didn't give me enough good stuff to work with. Like, that's what I had to work with. So, you know, you're going to see me in your nightmares. Sweet and spooky dreams. Thank you. I did do better than the nun. Yes, I did. I did do better than the nun. Even though the nun, what was that guy's name in the nun? I watched the nun. Frenchie. The nun was worth watching just for Frenchie alone. Just for Frenchie alone, the nun was worth watching. Oh, Frenchie. Poor, poor Frenchie. Would be a good thing. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Hold on, I feel like listening to some of this Halloween trap music. Let's see. Let's see, where's the Halloween trap music? Royalty free, of course. Frenchie looked like he smells like mustard. Well, call me Dijon because a Frenchie could get in. Just saying. Hey, all day. <laughs> no, I have not seen that billiards fun. I don't know what that is. That sounds like porn. Pretty sure it is. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Where's my Halloween trap music? Uh, 
Let me see. Halloween trap music. Here we go. This is not a correct production. It's going to be whack. <laughs> My ghost trap dance. Check the preview. You want me to check the preview? This sounds like porn. Billiards fun. Halloween trap music. Halloween trap music. It is a little whack though. Cheesy French. You'll go in the corner. <laughs> Some Fred Heck Ham and Kirk Franklin. I need some God in my life. <laughs> no, come on, y'all. Don't be hating on the Halloween trap music. Happy Halloween, haters. Out. <laughs> I got my sword in my eye, but I'm all right, though. I'm all right. I'm all right. Hello, trap. I like demons. I like Jason. I like demons. I got, I like, what? DiGiorno? As in the pizza? I can't. I can't. I like demons. I like Jason. I like Michael Myers. In your face. And... Thank you. All day. <laughs> I am bad. I like DiGiorno. The way the crust puffs up. <laughs> as you know, I'm not a rapper. As you know, as it has been well documented, I am not a rapper at all. I have zero flow, zero flow. Yeah. <laughs> you know who has bars? You know who has bars? This guy right here. B Lamb. Bearded B. B is always putting freestyles on his Instagram. I always thoroughly enjoy um, your freestyles, B. He's always dropping something on, on IG. He has a very nice flow. Y'all should check him out. Not for this season, no. Yes, I am not a rapper. New Hallow Trap. What did the chicken say when he crossed the road? That's some scary shit over there on the other side. I can't, Craig. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, spooky Halloween. Okay, spooky hip hop instrumental. Oh, now we're just to Halloween background music. Okay, I'm I'm over it. I'm over it. No, but it's true. I wouldn't say it if I didn't think so. I would I wouldn't say anything, you know. But I I really you're very welcome and um, you're very talented. You're very talented. So congratulations on that. You know, I know when I like things that I hear when it comes to like rap and like, you know, lyrical flow and all that stuff. I just can't do it myself. Like, that's not my forte. I'll sing a hook, but, um, but I can't, I can't, I can't rap. <laughs> I can't rap. Shin, how are you? It is Scorpio season. Bow, 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 bow. Scorpio season, y'all. If you don't know what it is then I don't know what to tell you. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. So, wait, hold on. This is... Sorry. It is Scorpio season. It's Scorpio season. I'm about to head out. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for hanging out. Um, so, I'll be back on Thursday. I'm not exactly sure... Uh, what I'm going to be doing. The Jamaican horn was cheap but dope. Thank you, Craig. Um, oh, what rap do I like? I like... <laughs> I actually like... Like... Like Migos and stuff like that. 
I like, but I, but then I like like older stuff like De La Soul. I love um, Childish Gambino. I've loved Childish Gambino before he was popular. Just to say, I'll see you later, Justin. See you later. Uh, thank you. Yes, and please check out my Comic Con video if you haven't checked it out already. Thank you, Craig. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, please check out my Comic Con video. It's on my YouTube channel. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment or something. It's quick. It's like five minutes. So please take a look at it if you don't mind. I would appreciate it. Um, but yeah, some De La, some De La Soul back in the day. You came to say, New Jersey fan! Mm. You did not. You did not. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. I want to. I want to do more of that. I want to do more than that. More of that. So now that my um, work is like slowing down, I'm gonna try and get out more and do that. Um, you sit in a barber chair with me waving that sword. I'll give you a shape up. I'll give you a shape up with this. I'll do a shape up for you. Take a little off the top. Thank you, Craig. I will. I will do more of those. Night of the dropped Brussels sprouts. You didn't hear them scream. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do on Thursday yet. I don't know. We will see. We'll see what happens, Reg. Um, <laughs> I'll come at you. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I had a great time. This was a lot of fun. I hope you had a good time. Uh, thank you to Craig, uh, Barbie Pink, Cho for the Super Chat donations today. Much appreciated. I will see you guys on Thursday. Um, I might do... I might do, like, an extended thing on Thursday. I'm not sure, because that, that's uh, a lead-up to... Um, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption comes, drops at midnight, supposed to be. So, um, so I'm going to be very hype on Thursday. So we're, we're going to see what happens. We're going to see. I made this costume, Jay. I made this costume. So I've, I've, various pieces I've had, I've used for other things. Um, and I just kind of put it all together. So it's not one particular price. Uh, see you later. See you later. Good night, Black Hebrew. It's good to see y'all. I'm going to show my wings one more time. Thank you, Carlo. Just a normal Friday coming up. Nothing special. Nothing important. Nothing important. Nothing, nothing to see here. You know what's, happen what's happening. Uh-oh. My tail keeps getting caught. You know what happens on Friday. You know what happens on Friday. Hold on, here we go. Here we go. One more time for the road. Hmm. Alright guys. I'll see you later. It's good seeing y'all. Uh, I will uh, show you the mechanics. It's nothing to see here. It's nothing to see here. You can't even see it. Hmm. Okay. No, I don't twerk to anything. I don't twerk to anything, said. <laughs> to said, I said if I uh, if I win the Mega Millions, I'm gonna come on and twerk for five minutes straight, and then I'm gonna leave, and then you'll never see me again. So maybe, maybe I will twerk to one of your beats if I win uh, a, mil a billion dollars. <laughs> so yeah, so I will be back on Thursday, Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon. I might extend it into the evening because it's Red Dead Day, um, Red Dead Night, kind of, and I'm going to be excited about that, so, so, uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh-oh, I ran over my tail. Okay, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, we'll see what happens with that, but it's good to see y'all. Thank you guys. If you don't, if you haven't pre-ordered Red Dead yet, get on that. Get on that. Did they announce Heroes for Hire, Mr. B? I mean, I feel like that's what they're going to do because they canceled uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I ran over my tail. 
<laughs> I right on my tail. A billion dollars, yes. A billion dollars, I will have an actual, like, from the movie studio costume, storm costume. Four billion dollars. Um, I'm going to take care of my tail. I can't, you know. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It was fun. It was fun. I'm not getting the cat suit, Reg and Miss Notch. No. That is not what I'm doing. You're going to see. You're going to see. And y'all are going to be like, okay. All right. I see you. I see you. So, yeah. All right, guys. I got to go get out of all this friggin' red. So, um, my bathtub is about to look like I murdered, like, five people in and there. So, I will see you guys later. Have a good uh, Wednesday. And I will see you on Thursday. Sweet dreams. Ha!